Hey everyone, this is Deepak and in this blog video, uh, I'd like to discuss about a question that you know I've heard many times from many people and the question basically is, is LinkedIn platform saturated for business prospecting today? So if you're a financial advisor or you might be a consultant like us, is LinkedIn still an effective platform? And that was a question that I've heard many times and I just spoke with one advisor yesterday. So I thought I'll just kind of share my view of how I look at LinkedIn saturation. So let me just address the question first. Is LinkedIn saturated today? So the answer to the question is it is not saturated because in my definition of saturation is the following, right? I would consider something saturated when it is not effectively working. And you see a lot of people and the whole idea would be because there are a lot of people um, on that platform, it is not effective. So the advisor community, the financial advisors that we work and help a lot, for them, there are many financial advisors, specifically with the pandemic, all the company offered them, you know, discounted access to LinkedIn and stuff like that. Because of which we saw a big, you know, push of many advisors coming on the platform. So the logic of saturation for advisors is like, well, most advisors are on LinkedIn platform prospecting in the same market. And most of those prospects or leads have already been in touch with advisors and hence they're not responding and are not generating appointments or lead from LinkedIn. And that is really how the saturation concern comes in the mind of an advisor. And Here's what I have seen and witnessed because you know we have been helping advisors, we have helped over 500 advisors at the time of making this video, perhaps more uh, depending upon when you watch. And I have observed and I have been using LinkedIn since 2018. So I guess the, the situation of many people coming on the platform with pandemic is true. Yes, we did see a, a lot of people using. In fact, we even saw LinkedIn launch new capability like the weekly invitation limit is one thing that never existed before. So LinkedIn as a platform did see a surge of activity from many people, specifically connecting, messaging and stuff like that. So yes, there, there, there is some truth in more people are using the platform today. Um, and that kind of is uh, a fact, right? So there's no question about that. So I do agree and I've seen that a lot of people are using LinkedIn. But I don't think it is saturated yet because of the second thing. Most people who go on LinkedIn, they are trying to use LinkedIn capability, like they use Sales Navigator, uh, they use the team link and all the filters and the, the notifications and all that. So LinkedIn honestly doesn't know how to help you prospect, right? Like LinkedIn is a, is a social media platform and they're trying very hard but using those features, you're not going to be able to get through the journey that you need to go through to convert a total stranger, people who don't know you, into an appointment and eventually into a client, right? So LinkedIn is good to provide us the access. And what we have done is we created a process. In fact, we created our software, as you see below, and it allows you to track all your data, allows you to really segment your list properly and then more importantly it allows you to send proper conversations and see which conversations are working and systemize your entire outreach. That is what it takes to, to make LinkedIn work and most people on LinkedIn don't have that. So irrespective of how many people are on LinkedIn, if you use this process and we see it in our business, we see it with our clients, you are able to generate good 10-15 appointments a month on LinkedIn. So that is very possible. So we don't see saturation on LinkedIn because we have this tool. And if you don't have it and if you want it, we do offer free trials. So click the link if you see anywhere or just come to our website and get a free trial of Intello and we'll show you. So we continue to believe that you, you're not going to have any issues to make LinkedIn work. So the saturation is not real. Now, the other important thing to keep in mind, and this is just coming from a business a strategy standpoint, the market will always have more competition. Your companies are hiring more advisors if you're a financial advisor and more competitors are coming in every market. Right? That's just how market evolves. But all of us, if you just focus on the unique value proposition you have, uh, the group of people that you may help, your process of helping them, and if you just focus on that, 
and then create a good marketing system to communicate that uniqueness, be it through content posting, and we have some extremely good content posting capability that we added to Fintello platform as well. Again, I highly encourage you to try that out. Uh, but also like communicating with proper messaging. Uh, I was helping one of my uh, advisor client yesterday and he focuses on infinite banking, like become your own banker strategy. And we have a very simple message that we have created, simple bunch of words. Even though we can use videos, we can use images and other things. We find, you know, using a very simple message, communicating your value proposition in a very concise form, very respectable way, uh, works quite well. So if you just focus on that unique offering, benefit that you can offer and transformation ideally that you can offer, you, you will not have any problem with saturation. It's almost like this, like, you know, think of if you're trying to go to a destination and driving a car and you're on the highway, you know, the approach you want to take is you want to just kind of just focus on, on, on the front not look, look a lot on the side mirrors and on, on the side because if you start driving forward by looking here and looking there you're going to have an accident you'll never make it to your destination so in business that comes down to focusing on the market that you're helping looking at the problems they have trying to solve that with your solutions don't worry about competitors and the side mirror definitely don't look back to what wrong you have done or what happened in the back just focus and oftentimes, most people don't do it in business. This is like the biggest business mistake most people make, where they're very competitor obsessed, and they're looking at all the competitors and what they are doing, and if you're an advisor, you're checking out all the other advisors' profile, and stuff like that. Stop doing that. Just focus on your market, and you won't have the saturation issue. So I don't think the saturation is really real in that sense. And the last thing I want to mention, um, we see this practically. Let's say if you live in a big city, Definitely there are many other people like you, be it financial advisors or marketing agencies, coaching companies, whatever you are. You reach out to prospect. Let's say there are like 10 financial advisors reaching out to the same prospect. I'm sure that happens. There's always this biases that the market has and they're going to use their biases to pick you. So you see women sometimes might have bias towards working with a woman advisor. Uh, if there are certain people from certain demographic, age or countries, they are going to have preference towards people with similar age. So when you 10 people reach out, the market will pick and uh, all you need to do is just show up. That's your job, right? So don't worry too much about like all this saturation stuff. I don't think it's real. Uh, there may be some truth to that, but you can't control the problem because if, if you just follow the train of thought of is LinkedIn saturated, if your answer is yes, then it doesn't lead to anything good you're not going to land into a place where you can positively think of growing your business. You're going to feel demotivated, LinkedIn doesn't work, so let me just try something else. And then when you try something else, it might have the same problem all the time. So you're kind of going to the bottom of finally not being able to achieve your goals. So if you just do what I just said, have a good process to prospect on LinkedIn, focus on your value proposition, and then let the market choose you um, you'll be fine and we have been fine here as well and we work with many people who are doing just fine so I hope this helps if you have any questions let me know and we'll be doing more videos so if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel please do so too if you haven't taken the free trial please do so too and please share this video with anyone that you think might benefit from this as well thanks